Okay, this is uh, one more attempt, hopefully the final attempt, to establish the bandwidth of this Rigol DHO924S oscilloscope. Um, I was asked by someone that posted a comment on one of my prior videos about this topic, whether I could be sure that the signal that I was feeding into the scope was um, a level signal across frequencies. And that's a good question. And in fact, I couldn't be absolutely sure because I hadn't measured it and I don't have laboratory grade equipment. I was using the Tiny SA Ultra as a um, signal generator. Uh, and I also used the Nano DNA as a signal generator for those tests. And they both showed a bandwidth of about 300 megahertz for this scope, which is rated at 250 megahertz. So we're gonna try this one more time. This time I'm gonna use my Hack RF as the signal generator. It has a 50 ohm output. Uh, it produces sinusoidal output signals via a GNU radio companion script that I'll show you in a second. And now I'm feeding the output directly through a 50 ohm terminator into channel one of the scope. And uh, we're gonna use the GNU radio companion script to vary the frequency as well as the uh, gain level inside the hack RF to produce a signal across frequencies with a fairly level output. Um, let me just show you that script real quickly. And here's the script. It's pretty straightforward. It's just going to produce a, um, a sinusoidal output. And then I have these GUI controls to control the RF gain as well as the frequency. And um, I've established the gain levels required to maintain the power levels across frequency by using my Tiny SA Ultra. So that's essentially still something I need to rely upon to know what the power levels are. And then I just wrote down those levels across frequencies um, where I uh, modified the gain in GNU Radio Companion as I changed the frequency to keep the power level as measured by the Tiny SA Ultra uh, reasonably consistent across those frequency ranges. So in the test that we're about to do, I'm going to vary the frequency. I'm going to change these gain levels within the GNU Radio Companion and then we'll get an output power level that's fairly consistent across frequencies and we'll see where we end up with as far as um, the um, voltage peak to peak. Now, um, what we're looking at currently is a 50 megahertz signal and our peak to peak is uh, 560 millivolts. I've done the math. Um, we need to get down to about 396 millivolts. That would be the peak to peak voltage at the um, 3 dB down and that'll establish our bandwidth. So here we go, I'm gonna bump up the frequency to 200 megahertz from the 50, and um, bump up the gain within the uh, GNU Radio Companion to 36.6, that's what's needed at 200 uh, megahertz to keep that power level the same. And we're at a peak to peak of 656 millivolts, so no problem at all there. Now we're gonna to go to the 250 megahertz. There's 250. Gain level needs to be 37.4 in the new radio companion, so I'll bump that to 37.4. And our peak to peak is still 490, so we're still well above the 396. Um, so our bandwidth is higher than 250. We're going to go to um, 300. And at 300, I need a gain of 37.4, once again, in GNU Radio Companion. And our level is now 378, so we're below the uh, 3 dB down. So our bandwidth is a little bit lower than the 300 megahertz. Um, and actually, the there's a difference between what the Hack RF is saying and what the scope is saying. So it looks like the Hack RF's frequency is varying a little bit. In any event, I'm going to uh, lower the frequency down to 290. Let's see where we end up with. There's 290. And um, that's exactly where we need to be on the peak to peak, about 396. It's over there. So basically, the bandwidth established by this method is 290 megahertz for this scope, which is very close to what I found with the other two methods um, of around 300 megahertz. So I think it's, I think. I can say with a fair degree of confidence now that the bandwidth of this scope is, it's obviously higher than the stamped 250 megahertz 
um, and it's approaching 300 megahertz. Um, in this test, it's 200, 290 megahertz. All right, thanks for watching.